About Frank Gore. Franklin Gore Sr., born May 14, 1983, is an American former football running back who played in the National Football League NFL, for 16 seasons. Frank Gore was born on May 14, 1983, in Miami, Florida, and was raised in Coconut Grove. He went to Coral Gables Senior High School in Coral Gables, Florida, where he played as a running back for the football team. He had two standout games. Against Miami Northwestern High School, he rushed for 293 yards and scored two touchdowns on 10 carries, and in the following game, he surpassed that with 319 yards and six touchdowns on 13 carries against one of the nation's top defenses. In his senior year in 2000, Gore set several Dade County single-season records, including 2,997 rushing yards and 39 touchdowns. As a highly recruited player, he was ranked the fourth-best prospect in Florida and 18th nationally. While developing his football career, Gore also prioritized his academics and supported his mother, who was undergoing dialysis treatments for kidney disease. To stay close to his family, he chose to attend the University of Miami. In his freshman season, he had 820 yards with 12 touchdowns on 62 carries for an average of 9.3 yards per carry. In his senior season in 2004, Frank Gore had nearly 1,000 rushing yards. Frank Gore was selected 65th overall in the third round of the 2005 NFL Draft by the San Francisco 49ers. A member of the San Francisco 49ers during most of his career, he ranks third in NFL career rushing yards. His career was noted for its longevity, rare for his position, and he holds the league record for games played by a running back. Gore played college football for the Miami Hurricanes and was selected by the 49ers in the third round of the 2005 NFL Draft. During his 10 seasons with the 49ers, he became the franchise's rushing yards leader and received five Pro Bowl selections. He also led the National Football Conference NFC, in rushing yards during the 2006 season and made an appearance in Super Bowl 47 in 2012. After leaving San Francisco at the end of the 2014 season, Gore played for the Indianapolis Colts, Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills, and New York Jets. He is a member of the NFL 2010's All-Decade Team. About Frank Gore's personal life. Following in his father's footsteps, Gore Jr. also became a running back. Despite not pushing his son towards football, Gore Sr. recognized his talent early on, saying, whatever he wants to do, he's going to do it. Not because I played ball, he has to play ball. Me seeing him when he was a little kid playing outside with his bigger cousins, I knew he was going to play football, but if he doesn't want to play, as long as he gets his grades and does something positive with his life, I'm okay with it. Due to his NFL career, Gore Sr. couldn't watch his son play local football games past the age of five until he returned to Miami 13 years later after signing with the Miami Dolphins. On December 19, 2019, Gore Jr., a three-star recruit, committed to play football at the University of Southern Mississippi, having also received offers from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga and Florida Atlantic University. In 2024, Gore Jr. signed with the Buffalo Bills as an undrafted free agent. Gore Sr. praised Bills general manager Brandon Bean for the signing, expressing confidence that his son would uphold the family legacy, stating, I know what I'm raising. My bloodline is for Rayal. We're coming to play. Buffalo got a dog. I promise you that. In terms of charitable work, on April 12, 2018, Gore was honored by Miami Mayor Francis Suarez and given the keys to the city. Mayor Suarez stated that Gore symbolizes the very soul of Miami, is a product of our city, a product of the West Grove, where so many families for so many generations have grown up together. During the event, Gore asked for his family and friends in attendance to be honored as well, highlighting the importance of those who supported him through his life's challenges, including growing up in a one-bedroom apartment with 12 people as a kid. Mayor Suarez declared April 12th as Frank Gore Day. About Frank Gore's professional career. Frank Gore was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers in the third round of the 2005 NFL Draft and quickly established himself as a key player. In his rookie season, he played in 14 games, leading the team with 608 rushing yards and three touchdowns, despite being inactive for two games due to a groin injury. His performance was notable for being the highest rushing total for a 49ers rookie since 1983. In 2006, Gore became the 49ers' 
starting running back after the team traded Kevin Barlow. He had a standout season, setting franchise records with 1,695 rushing yards and 2,180 total yards. He also led the NFC in rushing yards and had nine 100-yard rushing games, breaking previous franchise records. His performance earned him his first Pro Bowl nomination and the nickname, The Inconvenient Truth. Gore signed a contract extension in 2007 and despite a broken hand and the death of his mother, he continued to perform well, ending the season with 1,102 rushing yards and five touchdowns. The 2008 season saw him rushing for 1,036 yards and six touchdowns, making him the first 49ers running back to rush for over 1,000 yards in three consecutive seasons. In 2009, under new running back coach Tom Rathman, Gore had a career-high 206 rushing yards in a game and finished the season with 1,120 yards and 10 touchdowns, earning another Pro Bowl selection. The 2010 season was cut short by a hip injury, but he still managed 853 rushing yards. The 2011 season under new head coach Jim Harbaugh saw Gore lead the 49ers to a 13-3 record and a playoff berth. He became the 49ers' all-time leading rusher and finished the season with 1,211 yards. In 2012, Gore had 1,214 rushing yards, helping the 49ers reach Super Bowl 47, where he rushed for 110 yards in a loss to the Baltimore Ravens. Gore's performance remained strong in 2013 and 2014, with over 1,000 rushing yards in each season. In 2014, he became the 20th player in NFL history to surpass 11,000 career rushing yards. Gore signed with the Indianapolis Colts in 2015, continuing his consistent performance. He finished the 2016 season with 1,025 rushing yards, making him one of only five players in NFL history to rush for over 1,000 yards in nine different seasons. Gore remained productive in the 2017 season, even with competition from younger running backs. Throughout his career, Gore was known for his durability, consistency, and ability to perform at a high level, making him one of the most respected running backs in NFL history. On April 3, 2022, Gore said that he planned to sign a one-day contract with the San Francisco 49ers and retire as a member of the team that drafted him. He finished his career with exactly 16,000 rushing yards. On June 2, 2022, Gore announced his retirement after signing a one-day contract with the 49ers. About Frank Gore's net worth Originally constructed in 2007, there's no question that the Southwest Ranch's estate is fit for an NFL legend like Gore. The mansion itself encompasses 10,000 square feet of living space. It includes six bedrooms. The mansion contains several interior features. These include a massive living room that showcases tall windows and high ceilings, a chef's kitchen equipped with top-quality appliances, a game room filled with classic arcade machines, a home theater, a master bed suite with a luxurious bath inclusive of a tub, a fitness gym, and a sauna. Frank Gore has an estimated net worth of $30 million. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to give us a like, share with friends, and please subscribe.